guys, welcome to Motivational Monday. Today we're talking about how to have it all, right? It's a very important part of life um, and there's such this common connotation that you can't have it all. I call bull, period. I call bull. I think you very much can have it all, but there's five key steps and a bonus step to help you effectively have it all. Because that's what it's all about, right? Right. So as I go through these steps, make sure you put in the comments which one's your favorite. Are you struggling with a particular step? Let's have a discussion, okay? So put in the comments. And as always, make sure you subscribe so that you are the first to know when the next Motivational Monday has been uploaded. All right, guys, let's get into it. So step one, find the time. I know, I know, I know. Easier said than done, right? Maybe, maybe not. However, if you are struggling with finding time, I do want to encourage you to go look at my video called I Don't Have Time. And I talk about not only how to overcome the challenge of not having time, but I walk through step by step with how to find time. So make sure you check that out. But really and truly, you have to understand, we as humans make time for what's important to us. And it's all about making sure that your version of having it all is important enough to find that time. Point blank period. Cool? Absolutely. Step number two, you want to eliminate excuses. Do not accept excuses from yourself. You deserve better than the excuses you're attempting to provide. You do. Point blank period. So stop accepting excuses from yourself and expect better from yourself. Step number three, make sacrifices for what you want. You may not feel like it. You may have to go to sleep later. You may have to wake up earlier. But if your version of having it all includes A, B, and C, You have to find a way to make that work, even if it means not watching TV during the week, even if it means waking up early to go to the gym. Whatever that is, you have to find out what sacrifices are you willing to make so that it works out. Step number four, understand that your actions speak louder than your words. Point blank, period. Don't tell me what you want. Don't tell me what your goals are unless I'm your accountability partner. But really and truly, I should be able to see what you want. I should be able to see the fruits of your labor. The things that you're working on should have tangible results for me to see. Don't tell me what projects you're working on if you don't have any results to show for it. Because if you don't have results, are you working on it? Or are you? you just being um, busy. Recently, I posted a video um, of T.D. Jakes and he was talking about busyness versus effectiveness. Like you have to decide if I'm going to do something, I'm going to do it as effectively as possible. Otherwise, it's not worth my time. And back to step one, where we're talking about finding time. Are the activities that you're doing busy or effective? And if you have any activities in your life that is just busy work, that's where your time is. That's what you need to sacrifice. And those are the areas that you need to stop making excuses about, for sure. Step number five, my personal favorite, earn your sleep. I know, sounds crazy, right? Probably does. However, understand this, I love sleep. I love sleep. However, Two years ago in May, I made the decision that I was going to earn my sleep, that every single day I would look at sleep as a earned right and not a privilege. What that means is I am guaranteed to work on something that pushes my business forward every single day without fail. Now, what that does is it creates momentum. Some days I work 13 hours in my business. Some days it might be 30 minutes. However, every single day since May 2017, I have 
bust my ass to make sure that before I go to sleep at night, I have done something that benefits my business. You have, if you are serious about having it all, you have to understand sleep is an earned right and not a privilege. Okay. Okay. The reason this is my favorite is because I've seen the results of it. I've seen the results. I have seen what it looks like to make a conscious effort to focus on your business day in and day out without fail, regardless of how I feel, regardless of what I'm trying to do. And at the end of the day, there are plenty of people who want to do the things that I'm doing and they're so busy wanting to do it while I am focused on doing it. And I don't say that with any pride or any malicious intent. At the end of the day, I am working my ass off for Nicole's Network. Because this is what I feel is my God-ordained purpose for being on this earth. With that being said, it is my responsibility and it is my duty to do the things that I'm supposed to do. Again, some days it's 13 hours, some days it's 8, some days it's 4, some days it's 1. It depends. However, I have a consistent level of momentum that I'm creating within my business. And bonus, you have to define what having it all means for yourself. What I have learned in the process of having it all is that you very much can have it all. You just have to figure out what it all means for you. Now, you can't have society's version of it all and then your own version of it all. You have to decide, what do I want for me. What is my personal priority and understand are those things aligned with what you want or what you're told you should want. That's where the difference is. So if you define what having it all for yourself looks like, you are going to be able to strategically place your energy. But a lot of us are focused on doing things that society or family tells us we should be doing and then after that we're trying to have it all no baby do the things that you feel you should be doing that's it all right so I'll do a little recap for you guys okay again put in the comments which one is your favorite and which one's challenging for you let's have a discussion about it okay step number one find the time step number two eliminate excuses Step number three, make sacrifices for what you want. Step number four, understand your actions speak louder than your words. Step number five, my personal favorite, earn your sleep. And bonus, define it all for yourself. As always, guys, make sure you are completely subscribed to the Nicole's Network channel on YouTube. If you are not, you're missing out. Come on, guys. Hit the subscribe button. All right. Thanks, guys. See you next week.